What's up all my gearheads? Eric Cuts for the win here. I wanted to talk about judgment and the multiplayer again because more uh, information has been released. There was another podcast yesterday. Um, I don't remember the guy's name, but you know, he works from Ep he works at Epic. He's a developer there and he was answering some questions from iFlack and the other mod, I forgot their name, and um, questions from the fans and just kind of confirming things, you know, and I kind of wanted to discuss like the highlights of that podcast. I also want to discuss um, some things that Arctic brought up in his podcast slash live stream, whatever you want to call it. Um, he had a discussion with like four other people talking about judgment. And then I also want to discuss just like what I'm feeling about the game right now as it stands. So I kind of wanted to just, you know, hash it out, just kind of get you guys on the same page where I'm at and kind of see where you guys are at too. If you have a, you know, complaint, concern, what are you guys feeling at this moment? Has the idea of judgment improved? Are you still on the fence? Are you still very worried <laughs> like where this game is going? Um, yeah, just let's talk about it. Use the comment section and all that stuff. So yeah, let's get started. All right. So first of all, in case you missed the podcast um, yesterday, the main highlight of it, I guess if you want to call it a highlight, um, the main confirmation that stood out and had a lot of jaws drop was that he announced, he confirmed that there's no single elimination game modes at all. None. So that means no execution, uh, TDM, doesn't even have a spawn limit it's it's a time limit it's a score limit um just like regular tdm from like you know say call of duty same thing um yeah so <laughs> no wingman uh no king of the hill was confirmed and yeah when you think about it there's really four game types domination free for all overrun and tdm and out of those four two of them could potentially be competitive if we want it to be which would be domination and I guess TDM I don't know um, Arctic in his live stream he was very disappointed with this he really wanted you know a, a single elimination game mode he wanted a bomb type of game mode which I'm completely behind him about I think that would have been a great idea to have um, a bomb <laughs> game type for Gears of War that would have worked really well you know have one team start with the bomb and then have the other team try and disarm it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so with Arctic on that. I think that would have been a great idea. So he was really disappointed about all that stuff, especially since he's more of a competitive player. I myself, I'm not very competitive. I sort of jump on and play. So um, yeah, if it wasn't for my friends running in rule f uh, full fives, I'd probably just jump in quick every time. But, you know, I always have friends to play with. We have full fives. We run ranked. But um, as a, I consider myself still a casual player deep down. Um, I don't want to compare this game to Call of Duty, but hey, domination is domination. So I got to compare it to Call of Duty. And I will say that when I did play Call of Duty like heavily, like Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty 4, um, Black Ops, the first one, I, when I played alone, I always played domination, like all the time. So the idea of domination coming to Gears of War, I'm okay with it. I think it'll be really fun. Honestly, I do. I think it'll be really fun. But as a competitive setting, I'm not sure. And like I said, I'm not a very competitive player. I don't join tournaments. I don't, you know, I don't, whatchamacallit, I don't compete in tournaments. I just run them sometimes. I'll host them. And I like to play ranked with my friends. But like I said, I mean, I'm not crazy competitive. So I think more so I'm upset about this for you guys for the ones who are competitive, for the ones who love execution, the ones who who only play execution. I feel for you guys and it sucks. Like I'm more upset, I guess, for you guys. Another thing regarding the uh, competitiveness or potential competitiveness for a judgment that Arctic and those guys were talking about was um, Overrun. Because I guess somebody asked them, you know, can Overrun um, be competitive? And all of them said no. Arctic and I think that girl, I don't know her name, but they got to be hands-on with the game so they would know. But they were basically saying that 4 on 4 doesn't work in Overrun. I guess 5 players are needed because of the class-based system or whatever. That I guess it's it's boring if it's only 4 on 4, like 5 players are needed. And so that eliminates spectator mode and I don't even think spectator spectator mode is even on there. So yeah, I mean 
how are you going to make that competitive if you can't even spectate? So they they touched on that. I was kind of like, whoa, I didn't even realize that. Like Overrun, the more they talked about it, you know, needing five players, needing to work, you know, with full teamwork and everything, I, I started falling in love with Overrun. Like, okay, this is going to be awesome. Like, this is going to be a great, great game mode. But like they said, for the competitive side of it, it's just not going to work. So yeah, they were like real disappointed in that just because the fact like, I mean, Arctic, he was already already disappointed with the fact that there was no, you know, execution, there's no bomb game type. And then on top of that, Overrun can't even be competitive. So um, another thing on the podcast that was asked, I guess, by like someone on the forums or like a, just a Gears fan or something, they were asking um, if one team all has the same gun, like the Marksa, and they're all just sniping. And they're beasts at sniping. Like, is that like a huge advantage? Are they just going to dominate other teams? You know, are they going to ex? Is it going to be like another exploit in the game in the franchise? And um, I kind of didn't like the answer from the guy from Epic. He sort of beat around the bush a little bit. He was sort of like saying, "Well, yeah, they they can do really good at long range, but if you charge him with your you know your Nasher or whatever, if you have your whole team charge him or them." you can just dominate at close range. So it kind of like counters it. But I'm thinking, yeah, but what if they're really good at sniping? I mean, you let's say, I mean, and, and it's automatic. It's not like you're shooting one, then you're, you know, reloading another bullet. I mean, it's like an automatic weapon, right? So if you have five guys using that, like let's say on domination and they got two rings, you got two guys at one ring, three at the other. Yeah, the other team can counter, but at what cost? I mean, I, it's going to take a while depending, you know, how good that team is with, with sniping. So I don't know. I mean, I kind of understood what he was saying, but it didn't seem like he really answered it the way the fan wanted it to be answered. He sort of beat around the bush a little bit. He sort of made it like, oh, well, you can just counter. And it just seemed like a cheap answer. I didn't really like that answer. So it's it's kind of a concern. But at the same time, I do feel, yeah, you can counter it. I guess it just depends on the other team. It depends on your team. But if you're a bunch of randoms and nobody's talking, yeah, you're going to get demolished like big time. It's just the same if, some, if the whole team had hammer burst, if the whole team, you know, had retros. But the good thing about all the Lancers is there's no stopping power anymore. I don't know if you guys knew that or not. That's a great, great announcement <laughs> for this game. So when it comes to the retro, the hammer burst, no stopping power. So that's the great thing about that. They're still going to have the same damage, but without stopping power, it's going to feel a whole lot better <laughs> trying to charge at these guys, work around these guys with Lancers. Because as overpowered as they are, if you take away stopping power, that helps a whole lot, big time. So that's that's the beauty about Judgment. I'm glad they took that out. I'm glad they took out the uh, the stun from ink grenades because that is like the stupidest thing ever in Gears 3. Just today when I was playing, I got stunned from a nade that wasn't even in my vision. It was nowhere. <laughs> I was like, where is this ink grenade? So yeah, that's a great thing. They also mentioned that the mantle kick is exactly the same. So that's eh, that's not really a good thing because the mantle kick is pretty broken. So hopefully it's not so broken, but I guess it has the same damage, the same kick radius, I guess. So that, I think that's what they mean. What other things did I write down here? This wasn't really discussed in the podcast. This is just another thing that I kind of want to get off my chest. The constant reticle being on the screen really has been bugging me. Um, I know I'm not hands-on with the game yet, and I'm hoping once I am hands-on with the game, I'll forget about it. And I hope you guys listening to this and watching this, that it doesn't make it worse for you, and you start to notice it even more. I apologize in advance, but when I watch the Judgment videos, I cannot stop staring at the reticle. Like, it bugs me so much. It's kind of it's kind of an eyesore. Like, it just, it just bothers me. So I'm kind of freaking out about it. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking it could be... Um, I, I'm, it's like I'm almost thinking it's a deal breaker. I know that's stupid, but I don't know. I just can't get over it. I'm kind of freaking out. So I wanted to just let that out. Like, man, is anybody else feeling that? Because I just, I hate it there. I wish they would have told us like we could take it off or something, but I don't think that's going to happen. As far as spawns and all that, I, I, I'm not concerned too much about spawns. I'm not concerned too much about the game modes, modes themselves. They sound fun. In their own way like I'm I'm totally down to try overrun I think that's gonna be great um, yeah what I'm more concerned about and what Arctic also touched on and you know the people he was taught he was talking to was the matchmaking and it doesn't seem like they've done anything to fix that and that's a big concern because as it is in Gears 3 
the matchmaking is terrible. I mean, half the time we're playing people who are too good for us. They're like ranked, you know, really high. They have really high KDs. Um, I'm not saying like I'm scared to play them or I want to play like rookies. I just want to play somebody who's like at my level. If I'm a 1.7, I want to play a 1.7. I don't want to play a 3.2, 4.2. Man, the other night I posted a picture on Twitter. I don't know if you guys saw it. His, this guy's, kill, uh, what should we call it? Not kill death, but his win-loss ratio was like 98 point something. I was in shock. I was like, how is this even possible? And why are we getting matched with this guy? It's, it was nuts. I know there's not a lot of people playing, so that has a lot to do with it. But matchmaking has always been a problem for Gears of War, especially Gears of War 2. That was just <laughs> terrible. But um, yeah, there's a lot of things that are um, up for discussion. There's a lot of things I haven't covered yet. So yeah, just, just hit me up in the comments if there's anything else you want me to talk about or anything you want me to just reply to you in the comments or whatever. Um, I feel a little bit better about this game, I'll be honest, because like I said with the domination thing, I think that sounds fun. I'm not that type of person that's going to be like, yeah, it's just like Call of Duty. Boo, I'm not going to play it. I'm not going to be like that because I know that me as a Call of Duty player, when I play Call of Duty a lot, I always play domination, like I said. So... I'm not gonna, you know, try and act like I don't like the idea, when, because I do. I'm just being honest. But um, I kind of wish they just called it something else, though. Just to kind of, you know, don't make it so obvious. Call it something else. <laughs> something Gears related. Something different. But um, other than that, yeah, I mean, I'm feeling okay about the game. I'm not, I mean, I'm getting a little more stoked for it. It's getting closer. It's already like midway through January. So yeah, I mean, it's getting closer and closer. I'm excited for the campaign. I'm, I'm still not that excited about not having Locust. I love the Locust. You guys know this. Um, yeah, because Queen Mare is a beast. You saw her in this video. She's a damn beast. <laughs> so anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.